Sylvia and Terrence, first we need to warn viewers that they may find these details disturbing. The charges against King follow a months-long FBI investigation where undercover agents were messaging with him and he shared that he plans to assault his unborn child. This has to be one of the most disturbing cases I have ever heard about. And I have researched many cases, as y'all know. For me to say that, you know this is going to be a tough case to get through. So, before I begin, viewer discretion is advised as this does involve a newborn baby. And it is a rough one. Hello, my name is Holly, and as many of y'all know, this is little Simon. Welcome to the murder she shed. He had a bath today, and he smells like a little lavender flower. He's had a good brush, and, and he's so party. He's a party boy today. It's a party party boy today. Anyway, I guess we should get on to this case. I know, you don't want to talk about it. I don't blame you. It's a bad case. Well, go lay down so we can talk about it. Go lay down. Thank you. Anyway, just make sure you hit the subscribe button if you'd like to visit us again in this big YouTube world. First, before we begin, let me say this case has not been to trial yet, so all this information is only alleged, and the suspect is innocent until proven guilty at trial. You know, have to say that. Adam Stafford King is a veterinary ophthalmologist at MedVet Chicago in Avondale, Illinois. He also is a known dog breeder and American Kennel Club certified dog show judge who was expected to actually preside at the 2024 Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. We all know that it's a huge dog show and I'm sure to be in that you have to be up there with the up there's, you know, somebody to be a judge in that I'm sure I don't know much about it because I don't do those dog shows but I'm sure he was a big deal in the dog community he also was a judge in the junior division for children and you will soon find out why that is so disturbing the FBI would not even find out about this predator if they hadn't been investigating another New York man suspected of crimes against children the man they were investigated have been in contact with King via the Men Seeking Men dating app, Scruff, where users can give other users wolves. Never heard of it, if they're interested. I guess like dog wolves. Yeah, I guess how many wolves you get means you are more interested in that person. Anyway, they linked up in that somehow, and then FBI agents quickly learned that King was using the handle Perv Chai Dude on Telegram. Perv Child Dude, I'm assuming Perv, we get that part. Chai could be like Chicago Dude, or it could be, what if it's like for child, like Perv for children? I don't know what it stands for, but anyway, that was his username on Telegram. Anyway, on Telegram, King actually sent this dude several child images and videos. And after the New York subject was arrested, the FBI then posed as that dude online and exchanged messages with King. Including several in January where King and his husband traveled to New York to attend a dog show and take in the city. King and his husband, his husband's name is Lucas King and he is a pastor were planning to adopt a newborn baby from a woman who was their surrogate and planned to get on a plane March 29th to pick up this little baby after it was born. Investigators discovered King's plans for this newborn baby were far from the fatherly kind. He began telling the investigators who was posed as the other perv about his intentions to essay this little baby. He also discussed how he would invite a friend over to SA the newborn too. Texting this to the New York subject, or what he thought was the New York subject, I'm going to warn you, it's very upsetting and graphic, but this is what he texts. He said, they were born to suck, and how he planned to use that to his advantage. He mentioned RAPing this little baby ASAP. He also texts to what he thought was the other perv, how maybe he could come meet his little boy and you might have to come visit my little boy when he is born. He also sent pictures of the baby's outfits and told them the crib would be there in January 2024. King even sent the baby's ultrasound photos to what he assumed was another predator. 
King sent several videos and images of CP bragging about his extensive collection, including his own private videos. He also bragged about drugging other people's children with Benadryl and essaying his own family members' children. He texts, I generally use Benadryl because it provides a wide safety margin and is easy, claiming it generally takes 30 to 45 minutes to kind of knock them out, and he uses double an adult dose. He told the investigators that after he kind of knocked them out, he essayed those children, but he stopped short of the full thing because he didn't want to send them home damaged. He stated, I play with my nieces and nephews. In other words, he also essayed his nieces and nephews. He sent FBI agents pictures of his private parts and told them he preferred children zero through nine years of age. He said the child could be boy or girl, but he preferred boys. The FBI executed a search warrant on his Elburn, Illinois home on March 5th and located him in his shower, allegedly clutching his cell phone as FBI agents announced they were searching the home. King deleted his Telegram app before investigators were even able to take his phone away from him. But he still didn't delete everything. They were able to find the conversations they had actually had with him on these apps, and also they were able to see the ultrasound photo the, and the clothing of this baby in the house, and they were the same ultrasound photos and the clothing that he had sent online. So basically, they got him. And King's own husband admitted that that was their baby's ultrasound photos. King's husband was shown all the chats and images. Despite King's husband seeing all the evidence of what King wanted to do to their little newborn baby, he still wanted to fly to California with King to pick up their baby. King's husband viewed the prosecution as an inconvenience. This is actually what court documents say. In the document, it says that King referred to his husband as non-perv uh, when he sent these messages and telegrams. So when he was told this, all this stuff that his husband was going to do to this newborn, and he still wanted to fly to California, it was either he was so shocked by it he didn't believe it, so he still wanted to go. Or maybe he already kind of knew that King was this way, and so it didn't affect him. It, it was one of the two ways. He was either completely shocked and was in denial, or it didn't affect him. Because he sort of already knew. And a lot of people say he is innocent and did not know. But I want to make it clear before I get hate comments below that it's not because they're gay. I mean... Just because you're gay does not mean you're a pervert. It does not. Like, I have two lesbian friends that are the best mothers. And so, I want to put that out there for Because last time I did one like this where I had a gay couple that did something to their child. I got a lot of hateful comments. And that's just not what I'm about on my channel. I don't want hate to be spread. So, I'll just leave it there. Either way, I'm not clear if Lucas knew or not. And supposedly, he has not been charged with anything. So, I'm assuming that the officers think that Lucas did not know what was going on with this husband. In court, King and his lawyers proposed that King's husband will move in with his parents. I'm assuming his own parents. Well, he will presumably raise the baby after it's born. But I can't believe that this would be a consideration considering that the husband still wanted to get that baby even though he knew what King would do to him. I don't know. I don't know about the guy. I don't know nothing about the guy. But if I was told my husband was a predator, I would not want to go get a baby that I knew would become a victim of my husband. The husband also knew this was not the first time King had been in trouble for CP. King's husband, Lucas, is a pastor at Hope United Church of Christ in Naperville, I think. Here is Lucas and Adam's baby shower registry. So, Lucas and Adam were married in 2016. Then in 2017, the FBI showed up at their door for images of CP found on allegedly King's email account. King denied the email account was connected to him. The FBI knew the images looked 
They looked like young boys. However, the age of the boys in the images could not be reasonably determined. So they actually could not arrest King at that time. So Lucas knew that King had a history. And when this was brought forward again just recently, to even doubt it to me is weird. Because you already know your husband has a problem with this. And so, yeah. I'm just at a fence whether this baby should be given to Lucas. But that's not my decision, fortunately. I would hate to make that decision. I don't know, but this case really pulled me down the rabbit hole. Because I'm discovering that the American Kennel Club is full of predators that are into children as well as dogs. I have heard rumors that Adam King is about to flip on 12 other AKC judges. Like I said at this point, that is rumors. But one thing I definitely know is the man standing beside King in this picture is Jake Bedreau, who is an AKC dog handler and is the owner of Showworthy Pet Salon and Boutique. And he was arrested for CP and for acts with dogs. Jake lived with this man, Noah Thiel. Jacob recorded Noah in acts with dogs and sent the recordings to another predator whom dog he actually groomed at his salon. And that is how he was caught. While executing a search warrant at the Appleton resident where Boudreaux and Thale lived, investigators noted unsanitary conditions, including numerous piles of dried urine and feces throughout the living room. You know, full of dog poo dining room, and upstairs bedrooms. The urine and feces had been there for a long period of time, some of which were actually embedded into the carpet. Two dogs were free roaming throughout the interior, while two other dogs were located in wire kennels in the dining room area. The four dogs were actually removed from their home. Thank God. Thank the Lord Jesus. It sounded like the sky had no business around dogs. That's the scary part. He's working with dogs. He was a dog handler, yet he wasn't taking care of his own dogs, and he was doing that to them. Just so disturbing. Something else I did not know until I began my research was that multiple children competing in the sport of purebred dogs have become victims of SI because of their participation in the sport of purebred dogs and on the grounds of dog shows. John McCartney wore many hats. He was an AM staff breeder, professional dog handler, American Kennel Club approved judge, and most powerful of all, official AKC representative. By 2014, when this man was 74 years old, he lured three children into his home where he would give them sweets and ice creams before essaying them. At that age, how many children were probably essayed before he was even caught? And I mean, you know, he attended all these shows with these children, and how many did he mess with before he was caught? Same goes with King. And there's this guy, Andrew Mansfield, who is an AKC dog handler, but also a perv. His picture was found on a post where individuals who go to these dog shows discuss how there are so many predators in the sport. And they believe the AKC does nothing to prevent this. The AKC has recently came out with a statement because of the Adam King arrest. They said that, this is their words, the American Kennel Club has zero tolerance for abuse or cruelty or exploitation of young people. Our sport will afford no safe harbor for any individual intent or such heinous behavior. But as it does with policies regarding convictions of cruelty of abuse of dogs, the board passed a policy and procedure with regard to convictions of cruelty, abuse, and exploitation of children years ago that mandates upon conviction such individuals are suspended from participation in dog events or dog activities up to and including for life. As you are aware, we have numerous cases of such individuals being suspended and turned away from our sport. As we have made clear, that protection of our dogs and our young people is our priority. And also, they mentioned that they have removed Adam King from the judges list. King's attorney argue he's not a flight risk and that King's parents could be custodial adults if he were released on home confinement. And he has also pled not guilty. Fortunately, his release on bond was denied. If 
find it so disturbing that his parents would let him move in with them, knowing what he did to his niece and nephews. I can't even imagine how you could support a monster like this, even if he is your son. And during the court, they also mentioned they had no idea. Lucas said he had no idea that Adam King was like this. He was living a double life. Supposedly, no one knew that he was a predator. But now you know. So why would you let him move in with you? Especially if it was your own, you know, the nieces and nephews, which is probably their grandkids. Ah, it's weird. Before I leave, I'm going to put a link in my comments for a petition requiring AKC judges to pass background checks or maintain safe sport certifications to make these dog shows safer for children and animals. So go to my comments, click on the link, and sign for changes to be made. I'm sorry, this one was a tough one to get through. But I believe these monsters should not be allowed to hide in the darkness. When we don't talk about these monsters, that leaves our children and animals vulnerable to all the predators out there. Since this was a breaking case, I just wanted to get it out to you. Before you leave, make sure to smash that subscribe button and like button, even though this is definitely a subject we don't like. So I know sometimes it makes it hard for you to want to hit the like button, but it does help me for other people to find my channel, so I greatly appreciate it. I'm fixing to go till my wildflower garden up, take my tiller, and maybe this will help get this story out of my mind, because really I don't want it there, because it was a very upsetting story. So me and Simon are going to go till the garden, aren't we, baby? This morning, <laughs> I came to record this, and I wanted to record it early in the day, but I didn't get to because apparently I left my she shed doors open and the bird that makes a nest right here was inside my she shed. And luckily Simon is good natured and he doesn't bother animals. So we come in here and she's sitting on my, my where I paint at on my desk. It's kind of up, so she's using it as a perch. So we said, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get her out. And she acted like she was trying to go out my glass windows, and I thought she was going to hurt herself. So me and Simon backed back out, and we waited a couple of hours, and she finally figured out how to go back out these doors. You've probably seen her going back and forth, because she's got a nest right over my door here. So you, while I'm videoing, you've probably seen her flying back and forth, feeding her baby. I think she's got babies above my door. I, She's made a nest inside a bow I have above my door. So she, I always have birds do that every year. It's funny. We love y'all and we will see y'all and hope y'all have a great week. Bye. All right, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got to push this one I love you. I love you. But you're mean. I love you, but you're mean. Give me a Give me a Oh, God. Oh, God. Bigger me. Bye. <laughs> Packers out and it's feeding time They look like lambs but they rob you blind Lock the door, we better spread